I'm Allie Boyle with Alexandria Nicole Sellers. We're out here at Destiny Ridge Vineyards, our estate vineyard in Horse Heaven Hills. And um, behind me are our, our 20 new wind spires. Um, and we were excited to put them in because it's just one more step in us being self-sustainable. Um, we heard about them uh, from a friend and they seem like they'd be the perfect fit for us. It's very windy out here mm -hmm. and um, it will help us generate enough power to run our production facility, all of our vineyard, our foreman's house that's out here and our glamping sites. So um, we're really excited about it and um, I think that they turned out beautifully. They're bird friendly and quiet. We had a wedding out here a couple weeks ago and they were spinning a little bit, just a light breeze. Normally it's very windy, <laughs> of course today it's not, but um, yeah, so they'll generate about, I'm trying to think, we'll be able to sell back the remaining power um, to the power administration and, um, and they should pay for themselves in about three to four years. Well, we're really committed to being as green as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, Jared started doing sustainable farming practices about seven years ago. Uh, kind of before it was as popular as it is now right. and we've moved away from foiling our bottles just um, just trying to do away with any extra processes that um, will help you know the earth we're committed to making the land a place that will be around for our kids to farm we're definitely not setting the trend although we're kind of helping introduce it maybe up here in Washington um, and so far, some of them, they're, they're curious, you know, they want to know about how long it takes for them to pay for themselves. And, uh, I mean, nobody has any questions about if it's windy enough up here <laughs> to support them, but it's more about, uh, the cost and where they would put them. If they, you know, we didn't have to rip out any vineyards to put them in. We had this space here available and, um, so I think everybody's just kind of taking a look at their own place and seeing if it would work for them. You They're virtually you... silent. You uh -huh. don't hear them at all. They're uh -huh. absolutely gorgeous, I think. Mm -hmm. um, they have a really beautiful reflective quality. You can kind of see them now spinning just a little bit. They're just really pretty. I think that, um, you know, considering what power lines look like, I think that they're very beautiful. All right. And then another thing that I read uh, that the company had sent out and that you had mentioned in your materials is that because of that reflective quality to them, um, the birds aren't as, uh, in as much danger as they normally would be, right? Definitely. There's a cage around them. You can see that. And so because of the reflection and the cage itself, birds aren't in danger. They don't have the big wind turbines spinning so that the birds are confused by them. You know, we invite people to come out and check out the vineyard. We welcome people to give us a call and come out and see them for themselves. Okay. So, and then, have you had glampers? Oh yeah, while you've lots been of here? glampers, yeah. Since you've had these up oh, though? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh yeah, we are um, booked throughout September. and We've been full this entire year. So they're excited about it because a lot of our glampers have a real green mentality. And so they, you know, that part of it appeals to them. And then to know that the electricity that's being supplied to the tents is um, being provided by these, it's pretty cool for them.